as we populate in part one the timeline with some uh, some numbers we want to clean it up but it's a job so i made this quick empty key uh, empty keyframe generator so we're going to generate 1250 keyframes timeline numbers important in this case because otherwise it won't work select all and copy and paste it and there we are so we edit true we start at frame six to one timeline still and let's make this distorted hotspots so we use the same um, we use the same hotspots and video for this so drag and set now we're gonna do some y rotation so press y and move your cursor above the equator to turn it no clicks just move it there how easy it can get if you want to turn the other way around just move your mouse under the equator of the screen sort of you will see in a minute probably just turn maybe drag and set So when you put it down, it turns the other way around. That will be fine. Okay. Let's copy and paste this. 0.6 to 17. Select all and copy. 6 to 17. Paste save okay let's add immediately another one we skip one frame uh, well clear the list close and we're gonna take the same gentleman again as we did in part one and do some x rotation so also press X, just move your cursor up and press set, drag, change, whatever you like. You can also change all X, Y, Z, and scaling every frame, as you will do probably with 360, uh, uh, with the video hotspots. Or maybe animated hotspots, everything is possible. So, well, maybe a little bit too much. Put back. Scale it a bit. Just drag and set. Scale up as it comes closer to give it a more real real world effect scale it down a bit so 
So a few frames more to make it nice. That will do, huh? Okay. Let's copy the codes. 19, select all. 20, 42. Copy. So, frame 18 skips. It's no problem. 42. Let's have a look what we have done. <laughs> nice, eh? Hop, voila. So you can see, we can do anything. Great, hope to see you soon in part three.